Welcome back. Last time we managed to find an infinite ore deposit. Now it is time to bring the ores to our base. The obvious way to do that on such long distance is an AE2 quantum ring, but it looks like it has no recipe in this pack. Yet. So we are going to use trains. We shall start by making a new room to host the train deposit. Once we finish the station, we can use it to build our trains. As usual, we input the ingredients into the input bus. We could have used a single HV bus, but three LV1s make things feel gregier. Gregier. One thing you probably can't verify is that this multi-block doesn't have an output bus. And that is because the train is too big to be kept in our pockets. It is indeed going to be built right on the tracks. And, as you probably noticed, we don't have that many tracks. We could manually place them, but that would be boring and not greggy at all. That's why our first train is going to be a tunnel bore. Once we completed and admired our new train in all of its greatness, we can hop onto it and check the controls. This big machine is really powerful, but it can run on LV power, so an MV battery will be more than enough. All we have to do now is figure out how to turn it on. And, after some fiddling with the settings and everything else, we managed to make our train start moving. But that didn't last too long. The reason why it is now stuck drilling but not moving, is that it ran out of concrete for filling the holes under the drilling head to support the new rails. After we fill it with some concrete and fiddle with the controls some more, we managed to get it back on track. All we have to do now is sit, relax and watch your tunnel bore do its job and bring us to our mining outpost. But we then realize two issues. 1. It is getting dark in here. But that can be fixed by moving our back and add some lights to the tunnel. The second issue is that we are drilling a tunnel in the wrong direction. So, it is time to take the situation back in our hands and do a turn. And it turns out that turning such a big and heavy machinery is no joke. So we had to do some more manual railing and other fixes, and we managed to slowly make the big machine progress toward the correct direction. And, after a long time of man and machine joined work, Exactly when we almost managed to complete the U-turn, we figured out that we could just take the whole tunnel bore into our pockets. We can now place it in the right direction, give it some energy, some tracks and back on track we are. Once we finish setting up the whole railway, we head back to our base, where we start building a proper locomotive. Then, we make a wagon for the minerals and connect it. We load it up with the materials for building our mining outpost and then we heat up the engine of our new diesel locomotive. We want it to be blazing hot to be able to make the ramp to go above ground. Once the engine is tuned up, we can ring the bell to warn that the train is leaving the station. Finally, we release the brake to start at full throttle to the next stop. And we shall now enjoy the panoramic view.
Once at the destination, we shall start cleaning up the area and proceed into building the mining rig. Next, since I'm too lazy to make a second locomotive or around around and going backwards looks ugly, I'm going to use Steve's superhuman strength to manually rearrange our train to face our base. Then, we add to the tracks an item loader, so that we can pipe items into our train from the mining rig. Finally, we turn on the drilling rig and we fill up our wagon with ores. Once we are fully loaded, we take off to our base before the sun rises. And it looks like we are too heavy loaded and have not enough acceleration track to make it to the main track height. Now, while in first person that looks weird, if we take a better look from an outsider point of view, we can see that the slope of this track is quite high and the train comes with no speed while carrying tons and tons of raw rocks. That said, we are currently using a tester build, so that train will probably get buffed soon. And now time to head back home. Luckily this crash didn't break our train, nor was enough to crush our oars, so we have to sort them out and then crush them. <laughs> 